Hello, I'm on the domestic wing of the Maritola Mohammed International Airport and I'm traveling with the smaller jets to see how comfortable they are. Today we are flying from Lagos to Abuja aboard APS Airlines 3-year-old state-of-the-art Embra E195 E2 serial Onyema. Registration number 5 November Bravo Yankee Julius. We will explore every aspect of this modern jet what we found and most importantly how much this flight cost which is truly shocking comfortable right eh? no, no. not only that also i've got a few other surprises planned along the way to make things more exciting she's our captain quincy always you guys remember her no they don't they <laughs> asked me like do you fly every day uh -huh. i got you rest This is the domestic wing of Maritala Mohammed International Airport. It is also called the General Aviation Terminal, GAT, or APIS Terminal. I was surprised to find it unusually quiet, almost empty, a stark contrast to the usual scene of passengers bustling to various destinations across Nigeria. But so far, things are going smoothly from the airline's side. Now that we got our boarding pass, and since I was checking my luggage, I had to get it wrapped to give it an extra layer of protection. Even though it was quiet today, there is no doubt that this terminal is shaping up nicely. A lot of improvements have taken place here. For instance, they have installed new longer scanning machines for faster processing of passengers. The boarding area feels transformed, brightly lit, and more spacious. The airport, the GAT, is actually wearing a beautiful and a new look. Before we boarded the plane, I realized I hadn't given you many context about the airline and the aircraft that will be flying today and what people think about them. So allow me to explain. APIS is Nigeria's and West Africa's largest airline with exceptional ratings in all areas, except that some passengers will disagree with me. You see, I have never had any major issue with them every time I fly. It is an unreal experience and in my opinion, they are one of the best out there. On the one hand, people have called them a nightmare saying not to fly them whatever you do and that the airline is a tale of endless delays and disappointments but on the other hand some people rave about them and their staff saying they've had great travel experiences with them and that they are a great airline which they are flying with again so it is going to be super interesting to see what they are actually like now that I've given you details about the airline, it is time to talk about 5 November Bravo Yankee Julius. The aircraft was delivered in December 2021. He is the fifth of the E2s delivered to APs out of 13 firm orders and eight more are still being expected. And one fun fact about this airline, they have a unique tradition of naming their aircraft after family members of the owner. So even if you can't remember the registration number, you might recall the name. Body was on time, but I noticed an unusual sight once again on the tarmac. Several APIS planes were parked in abundance, which felt odd for that time when the tarmac was usually bustling with activity and aircraft movement. Today, however, it was quieter, which raises serious concern. Why are these aircraft idle? Planes only generate revenue when they are in the air, not sitting on the ground. A problem not limited to APIS, but affecting all operators. With so many planes grounded, capacity and available routes are reduced, weakening the entire industry. Some people have attributed it to a shortage of foreign exchange, high spare parts costs, and even the high cost of Jet A1. But whatever the reasons are, the optics don't look good for the industry. No aviation sector can succeed under this Conditions. Once inside, I was immediately greeted by friendly flight attendants. I have flown with the chief one or two times, and then Anthony just for the first time. The cabin layout of this aircraft is turning. The aircraft can seat 1 to 24 passengers in 2 2 configurations with no middle seats. It's either a window or an eye seat for each passenger. And the business class has a unique seating arrangement. This is called the staggered seat and has 12 staggered seats in total. After getting comfortable, APIS hospitality began for me. I requested a coffee which the crew was pleased to serve. But the first thing I also noticed about the seats in the economy was just how much 29 inches of legroom was and I couldn't completely stretch out as much as I wanted underneath the seats. My seat was the very last seat. I don't think all economy seats had the same legroom. Mine was reduced comfort. It was a little bit cramped as you can see.
but nevertheless i was very much okay it was comfortable the seat was very soft remember it's a new aircraft the cabin still feels and smells brand new time to push back for today's flight we'll be flying 55 minutes to one hour I caught a glimpse of the aircraft graveyard, aka Sambisa Forest, filled with aviation history and woes. Most of the aircraft parked here had other litigation issues, heavily into debt due to mismanagement or an accident. So were grounded due to security concerns, hence their AOC were withdrawn. It is a visual reminder of the evolving aviation industry in Nigeria and also a bittersweet sight where hopes and dreams of many once soared through the skies. But now these planes lay ground grounded, forgotten. The E2 is very modern and amazingly quiet. Apart from the sleek design of this aircraft, passengers love this aircraft a lot because of the way like sound the engine produces that makes takeoff nearly silent and relaxing. You almost can't hear them at all. Now that we were in the sky, I decided now would be a great time to show you guys around the seat some more. In the seat back pocket, you can find the E2 safety card, which is still in brand new condition, and the airline's in-flight magazine, Alice. A double folding tray table, and each seat comes with two power outlets, which is a rare occurrence these days. A soft leather seat belt and a reclining function button by the side. Also, I found the reading lamp and the air conditioning worked fine. Once the seatbelt signs were off, the attendants began their service. They had a stack pack for all passengers. I received a double pack, which was such a pleasant surprise. I'll be showing you just what I got in a few minutes. Soon we began our descent into Abuja.
As we taxi to the gate, I can't help but feel a sense of gratitude for the safe and comfortable journey. The flight was nothing short of exceptional. I'm impressed with the disembarkation process. It was organized and swift. And I also noticed that passengers are now used to falling in line without being monitored. That's nice one, Che. <laughs> So we have landed now, so I decided to come in here and show you what the toilet looks like. It's very small, but it's still comfortable. This is where you can change diapers, you know, for babies. Just pull it down like this. The crew provided excellent service during the flight. I had a chance to chat with them. Uchi has been so wonderful. <laughs> they served me double. <laughs> How many of you served him? Four. Yes. And how many passengers do we have in total? One to four. Well, the flight is really full. Oh. And we also talked about their aircraft preferences. E2. Yes, sir. And the Boeing 777. Seven. 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 I like E2. E2 is a, a sweet <laughs> Okay, it's a sweet aircraft. Yeah. Okay, even me too. It sounds quieter. You know, it's really nice. The comfort of the jump seat. Yeah. It's comfortable, right? No, really. It's not really. No, but uh, it is created uh, this way so that we don't feel sorry about it. Why? Oh, that's just the idea behind Okay. It. Uh, All right. That's really nice. Wow. That's a good one. This one. This, this. <laughs> Thank you. And life in the skies. Well, nice to see you. You too. Where's your twin brother? I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he's, he's not around at, at this time. He's in Canada. Uh, I'm still uh, enjoying my time here. No, a lot of passengers don't even know that you're a twin. No, they don't. <laughs> they ask me, like, do you fly every day? Uh, I want to rest. Uh, <laughs> All right, let me just uh, take care of this one here. No, it's, it's very interesting aircraft. Like, oh, sweet. It's nice. Okay. Yeah. All right, Paul. I was extremely impressed by how incredibly clean the cabin was, even in places that were traditionally dirty. But the highlight of my journey was a visit to the cockpit, where I met a familiar face, the captain. I've had the pleasure of flying with her twice before, once when she led an all-female crew as a second officer. Now she's achieved the rank of a captain. Hello, Quincy. Hello. Nice to see you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Hello. Hi, and what's Grace? Grace? Okay, she's senior first officer. The first time I met you, you were yes. here yes. with yes. Uh, with yes. uh, yes. Sibi Sola. Yes. Hi, is she? She's fine. She's fine. You guys remember her? Yes. Female flight crew, yeah. all female flight crew, Quincy Owens, you guys remember her? I learned you are now the captain of E2. Yes. How is it? It's been wonderful. Very good experience. Very okay. Good. Okay. Good to be back. I was outside and everybody left. So I'm going to claim my luggage right now. And at this point, I'm sure you're probably wondering one of the most important pieces of information. How much did this flight actually cost? Well, for this route, 451000 Overall, APC E2 was an awesome aircraft to fly. From the warm welcome from the cabin crew to the stunning area view of Nigeria below, every moment of our journey was a true delight.